Hi, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Colin Jones, 65th Commander of the National District U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. And today we're back out here at our Chickamauga Lock Replacement Project. You know, this project is $757 million. It's going to allow for us to replace the current existing 300-foot lock with a 600-foot lock that's going to enable significant economic development along the Tennessee River. Luckily, today I'm joined by our District Project Manager, Adam Walker, along with our AECOM contractor, project manager, Mr. Bill Groth, who's out here working with us towards to make this project a reality. You know, today's a very auspicious day for us considering the fact we are completing lock excavation and going into lock chamber construction. As a part of that, one of the ways that the Corps of Engineers is looking to revolutionize aggressive project delivery is by working with our project partners to identify both risks and opportunities. One of the ways that we've done that is through the Joint Risk Registry Pilot Program, which is being spearheaded here at the Chickamauga Lock Replacement Project. So Adam, can you talk to us about how this risk registry is enabling us to identify both risks and opportunities as we aggressively try to get this project in the ground? Yes, sir. So this is something we do on a weekly basis with our contractor. We actually talk about opportunities and risks that they've identified throughout the course of their production. And we do the same from the Corps of Engineers perspective. And it's just very, been very enlightening to hear from their perspective what they see is coming down the pike as far as crew sizes and those sort of kind of things that might uh, hinder the progress here. So we do that on a weekly basis, but then on a monthly basis, we actually update the risk register and then pass that out to everyone so everyone's on the same page. So some ideas that have come up through this process is actually shown behind us. These uh, gray silos are in the background. Those are an idea that our contractor had to help mitigate some of the issues we could have had from uh, material shortage for concrete production. So by virtue of those being on site now, we can actually continue our production for at least a month during the uh, shortage of unscheduled nature. Outstanding, Adam. You know, the ability for us to work together with our project partners such as AECOM, identifying these opportunities so that we can maintain production. So, Bill, you know, coming in here with AECOM, a $240 million lock chamber construction project, this is a massive piece of infrastructure you're going to be helping put into the ground alongside us. From your perspective, as you've gone through and worked through this joint risk registry, what key aspects or insights have you found? Yeah, so it's really important uh, from our standpoint to understand what the core perceives as risks from their side and also to be able to deliver what we see as our risks to them. And this open communication allows us to identify these risks early and also then take steps to attempt to mitigate these risks if possible such that we are not faced with them further down the road. Outstanding, Bill. Once again, we really appreciate you and AECOM working with us, you know, helping us with this pilot program and seeing the benefits that it has for us to get this project in the ground. And ultimately, it's going to benefit the entire nation because we're going to be able to get projects in here quicker, faster, and at a higher quality to better serve the American people as we continue to revolutionize the way the Corps does business so that we can move dirt for the nation. From the Nashville District, we're building strong because we're Army strong. Essayons. Thank you.